Hey everybody, Joe Liptock, audio engineer here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about making a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable. Now to do this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your 3.5 millimeter audio plugs. You're also going to need a soldering iron and some wire clippers. And then you're also going to need balanced cable. Now let's not get this confused with the balanced uh, cable that we're making. We're not making a balanced cable to implement into a balanced system. This is just strictly carrying two channels of audio on two conductors. So as long as you have two conductors and a ground connection, you can make a stereo audio cable. Let's get started. Now the first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to strip your cable. This will reveal all the insides of the cable. You should have two conductors and some ground frays. Maybe there's cable insulation in there as well. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist those ground frays into one uh, wire in itself. Then you're going to want to clip the excess cable insulation. Then the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to strip the two conductors so there's about maybe an eighth inch of copper showing on each one. After that you're going to want to tin all of your copper. So basically tin the ground wire and then tin the tips of the two conductors. Um, this process is basically heating the wire to the point where you can melt solder onto it and it has a tin look to it. This makes it easier to solder it to the plugs in. So once you've tinned your, your wires, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unscrew the housings from your 3.5 millimeter plugs and slide them onto the cable. Then you're going to want to line up your 3.5 millimeter plugs with the correct orientation of wiring from the cable. Once you have everything in place, you're ready to solder the two together. Start by soldering the ground connection. Then we'll go ahead and solder the tip connection, which is the left side. Then we'll solder the ring connection, which is the right side. After you have these three connections on one side, go ahead and do that to the other side on the other 3.5 millimeter plug. And once you've repeated those steps for the other side, you've pretty much made your cable. Let's test it. And we'll see that the continuity all matches up and nothing is shorting out. And congratulations, you've made yourself a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable. My name is Joe Liptock. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.